And then. So that's like just one of the various various rituals you can do. However, there's other special fun stuff you can do. Such as the rituals of infusion, which is the writer's this is to do. So a ritual of infusion requires a lovely little outline. And it requires swirl of the depths. But first things first, we need to change this up. So to change these up, you can simply click on them with already existing chalk and it'll change them. So you don't have to punch through every single one of them, making your life a whole lot easier. So you can go along here, change the color, and we're just gonna speed this up. All right, and we're back. Okay, so just sped that up a little bit. Go and make sure the altar is full power. So we go down here because our altar powers that, as you can see. Our altar is fully charged. So very, very, very powerful altar right now. We got this symbols right. We throw this down here, and the infusion of spirits begins. So we have to be standing in here. And you look over to the left, and now we've got this little infusion container over here, and we're infused with spirits. Beyond that, I have no idea what it does. Um, they don't really do anything yet, but you can fuse yourself with spirits. Now, there is more to it than just this, these summoning circles and all that fun stuff. One of the things you can do with these circles, we go back to game mode C, and that will charge up insanely fast. Well, also, uh, well, we'll get to that. All right, so, um, one of the things you can do Get yourself a Codex Vernium, and this teaches you how to summon demons. So, various different things. Um, so, to summon, or if we go back to uh, the Deoc Nobility Demons, go through here. So, summoning a demon requires a ring of red. This means a ring of any color you like, just as long as one color. Another ring of red. And that requires a whole bunch of stuff, like heart. Now then, where do you get heart? Well, if you hadn't noticed, we got ourselves a little bell jar full of villagers here, so we're just going to dump a few in here, all caught up, and we just smack them about with the anthem a little bit. Hurt them in a general swarm as they try to escape. And villagers are what give you heart. So it's always useful to have villagers around in case you want to do demon summoning so you can get some heart. All right. Now then, back to the demon summoning. So we've infused ourselves, and we're going to go here. Um, get this stuff out of the way. All right. So also need to make the chalk circle right, which is very wrong again. So... If we look at our book here, it says any color. So they actually can just be three circles of red, which is quite useful to us. So we do this here. Make ourselves a lovely little circle. And then they're all rings of red. Our demons are dangerous and so it can't be trusted. However, there is ways to contain them. So what we can do for ourselves is if we bust this here we can then make this circle wider so we just add this here ooh special creative music anyways continue adding this here and because bewitchment is a cool mod they should have this implemented by now. If not, this is going to be really bad. But we make ourselves that extra little ring around here. And then we go, oh, we just finish it up. We go into things. We grab some a coarse silver powder or salt, I guess. And you make yourself a nice little ring of salt all the way around your ritual site. 
and I believe that demons cannot cross, cross salt. Now, I might be completely wrong here. However, it should be how it works. Um, anyways, so we got that done. Apparently, ring of salt. Alright. Can get rid of all this extra stuff. Summoning a demon. We'll require an anthem, some hellborn, and a hellhorn. So, in here we got this. We'll go to the plants. We'll get the hellborn. And then we need some hellhorn. Hellhound horn, which you can go summon a hellhound, or you can just kill it. Then we need some liquid wrath and a heart. Well, we got the heart. Now we just need to find a container of liquid wrath, which um, I have no idea how to get. Um, yeah, no idea how to get liquid wrath, but you get liquid wrath or something. Um, and then, yes, very, very in depth. Gold and pearl. So we need gold, pearl, and here. So we can get rid of this chalk for now. Need go over here. Miscellaneous. And I believe the tears are in miscellaneous. No, there. Anyways, gold, pearl, and tear. Where are the tears at? Oh, right here. Tear. Now we go back. Game mode. S. No creepers abound, though. We huck all this stuff in here. One of each. And we've done something wrong. Um, gas tear. Ender pearl. Gold ingot. Um. Hmm. You know, I have all the ingredients. Liquid wrath. Hellborn. Gold ingot. Um, pearl, gold. Anthem. Gas tear. Heart. Horn. Perhaps this inner circle does require to be a different type. So, very easy to alleviate this problem. Or even it has to be as in here here. So, we need the, well, that's actually not possible though. So, but maybe it just needs to be a different type than the rest. There's also an exclamation mark um, in these rituals, which makes me suspect they don't actually work to summon demons. Um, hmm. Demonic nobility, other firstborn, all hound. Yeah, little exclamation marks here. Um, hmm. Right. So, demon zombie might not work. Um, but we're going to just change the color of this circle and see. So there's a little red exclamation mark. So it might not actually work yet. Still, we can endeavor to experiment. So just replace that whole ring. And again, all the needed ingredients in there. Not her such a right. Maybe just the... Oh, where'd the ender pearl go? Oh, there we go. All right, this time. This time it'll work. All right, everything. All right, maybe we'll just try the imp summoning one. Um, which requires uh, demons, demonesses, imps require oops. imps require just doesn't don't require the two extra special things. So we can just use this, 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 this. Get yeah, imp. Or not. Huh. Right. Um, let me try just one more time with all the stuff here. All right. And appears I was missing something from here. So still the same ritual as before. 
all the fixings. Um, the gold, this, or they require blood of a villager to be spilt. So, nope, back into the circle. All right, and he's been killed. Now, he can, hmm. Uh, there we go. You need to throw a villager into the mix to get demon. And, um, yep, fire sprays everywhere. All right. Um, all right. Cool. Cool. Um, maybe it's best to leave the circle. I'll be just sit here and wait for the ritual to complete itself. There we go. So we got sacks and bear reps. They are huge. Hello. Um, I'll just be taking this dagger. Hello. Um. If I have this the amulet thing. Now then, let's see. Ah, yes, I was right. They cannot cross salt. Ow, they give me nausea. But demons can't cross salt. Ah, take that sucker. Or maybe they can't exit the circle. However, you can now. Oh my goodness. Um, I need to get some thing to deal with this. We're a status effect in the game. There we go. No, not goat's milk. Milk. Yes, demons cannot cross salt. But that's how you summon demons, and you get two of them. And then you can punch them. Oh, and they absolutely own you. Boom, you just had the sacrifice of villager. All right. Hello. And they don't talk or do anything, it would seem. Um, how do I get my stuff back? Oh, there we go. Open box grave. Yes. And then if we look, you have to, um, let's see, present them with a bylaws badge and bring them, I must present with a diabolical badge of office to them and bring them blood sacrifice. Um, the collection of souls to be trip. You may, um, all right, to unskilled collier, you may flat out kill them, adding them to their collection of souls to be trade with. Yes. Um, but as you can see, demons here. Now, if we break this uh, salt outline and we punch him and he comes to us, he can leave. So, as you can see, you got demons, use salt to contain them. So always surround your circle with a nice ring of salt to keep the demons out. If I go over here and punch him, he can't actually cross over there. He's held back by the line of salt. So you can even make a circle around yourself if you so wish to. As we go example here, just demon stuff. I think it's cool anyways. Um, and it's a bit like, um, what should we call it? The Dresden Files, except it's a ring. But, um, got yourself a handful of salt, and then you draw yourself a circle with it. And then you're like, hey, demon, punch. And it can't get through. So you can even like, sorry from prison them by making a ring of salt around them if they don't absolutely kill you with a single hit, which they're very good at doing because they're very strong, very strong creatures. But we can walk on by, just break this, get back a pile of salt, and 
we have ourselves an imprisoned demon. And then we can reestablish this line here and punch him. He tries to get us. He can't do anything. We just punch her. She can't do anything. She's trapped by assault. She can't get past it. So that's Demon Summoning and Bewitchment. And there is a few other things in Bewitchment, such as, um, well, we go Game Mode C. And we go to these things, the spells, which I have um, absolutely no idea how to actually get. Um, but, uh, yeah, since I have, I'm no longer infused, but I still have these, I can then like throw a punch, I can use far reach, which does nothing here. Tempest, can't really use. Spell puddle, um, I suspect that that creates a puddle. Spell lesser blink, teleports me randomly and just go back to creative mode so I'm fully charged spell greater blink gives you a control blink do distance spell desolation is going to um, do nothing that I can figure out and telekinesis is going to um, probably do something. All right, now then, I believe that's about it. There is more stuff with Bewitchment. However, I'm not 100% sure how it works, and this is the stuff I do know how it works. You can make potions, you can get stuff, you can harvest things. You can also make these trinkets and enchant them. Tarot cards don't really do anything yet, but I guess I can do a brief thing on tarot cards. Just hop through here. Is you go over to a reading table, um, you go to game mode C, and the table has an error because it's not working. Um, because we didn't make those, we didn't make these cards, so they're not bound to me. So they're going to have problems. Anyways, you can read tarot cards. You can do that for yourself. Still, some things. Grazers don't know their use. Um, other things are pretty useful. And if we. Go back up here, because the demons are still sticking around, because they seem to like it here. I believe we can feed them villagers as well, um, which is kind of horrible. But we get the spawn villagers. We get ourselves back up here. Just ruin this lovely thing here. All right, nope, they they don't eat villagers, but still. You can use them for rituals. And that's that. That's Bewitchment. All right. Cool. Probably going to get in trouble or something for the DMS Therax. Anyways, that's that. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope you learned some stuff. Um, I hope you didn't just purely watch this video and you skipped about to the useful bits you needed. But yeah, this has all the information you need. So, yeah. Um, I guess that is that. Um, hmm. Anything else? Let me think on that for a second. Now, I can't think about anything else that, um, need you to do, or me to do. So, yeah. I guess that's that. So, thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. And, um, I'll catch you all next time. So, until then. Bye.